Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this quick video, I'm going to give you the quick breakdown of Figma pricing plans. Like what are the things that you need to know? So first thing first, what is the difference between the Figma and FigGem? What you can find here? The difference is, is that Figma is primarily a design tool used to create a user interface. But FigGem is an online whiteboard focusing on brainstorming, collaboration and ideation. So for example, right here, you see this is how it looks like. You have plenty of tutorials on uh, FigGem. Now, when we are going to dive further to the plans, well, let's start right now what we can find here. So the free plan that you're going to find here that you can just start for free. Uh, you are going to have the free access. So if you want to try it out with Figma without spending any money, also you can create up to free Figma files and free Figma, job, Figma Fig Gem files. So that's good. Also, what is great about it is that you can uh, like um, invite unlimited collaborators and you can have like templates and plugins. So I primarily use the free plan most of the time is that I don't need uh, different things like the private projects, like branching on merging, custom workspaces and things like that. So that's good. And that's for uh, the start to plan what you're going to find here. Now, the professional that you are going to find here, the professional team, is that you are going to find for good small teams or individuals looking for flexibility and features. So that means is that you have the unlimited files here. So if you're looking for all the files, you have unlimited them. Undo or revisit past changes at any time. So that's good too. So the unlimited version history. Also, team libraries share reusable components across your projects. That's also really good. And then price is like the difference there. But yes, you're going to also develop a mode if you're into it. Uh, but these are the most important things. You are going to find also things like if else statements in prototyping interactions for more customized flows or even define multiple actions in a prototyping interaction. So that's for that. Now the organization plan that you're going to find here. So if you're looking for more structure and also better version history and more collaborator tools, then organization is for you. So organizing files into private or shared spaces for better team management Use libraries and analytics to create consistent designs. Experiment with design changes without affecting the main file. And uh, it's really good for like a teams. So that's for example, for the teams you are going to find here, where you can have also options to have a private plugins so that you can build your own private plugins for your organization to use in a developer mode. And then you can have also the web hooks and private plugins and widgets and more admin security right here as you can see for the organization because for the professional team you have only default roles and password protection but for the organization you have way more so that's for this and that's is then going to be the enterprise enterprise where it's important is that it's not really beginner friendly you have way more advanced security controls, custom workspaces, manage large teams and projects seamlessly, and it's more expensive. So yeah, if you want to go to serious projects and if you want to do more, you can start with a professional. But even the free uh, can be sufficient. So that's something I wanted to share with you. Like what, do, what are the things that you need to know? Because right here, like set variables and variable mode, conditional logic, multiple action expressions. If you need those things that yes, you need to go with the professional. So that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day and goodbye.